You've got to tune to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online around the globe at kexp.org. And the very first in-studio performance of 2015 right here on the Midday Show, one of my favorite artists, Dan Mangan, here with his band Blacksmith. Welcome. Thank you for having us. It's been a few years since we've had you live on air, so I'm itching to hear some new music. Well, thank you. We, uh, we're big appreciators of the station. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's a mutual appreciation society going on here. You want to start us off with a couple songs and then we'll catch up? Yeah, this is a tune called Offred.
That was incredible. Dan Mangan and Blacksmith live here in the KEXP studios playing songs from the new album Club Meds tonight, playing at the Roost in Bellingham, just north of us here in Seattle. That was incredible. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We're, uh, it's funny. We made this record uh, uh, a, a long time ago now, and we're just kind of figuring out how to do this again. So this is, our, this is kind of our first radio thing that we've done. Oh, well, we're honored. <laughs> well, what do you got next? Uh, we're going to do a tune called Forgettery. and Blacksmith live on KEXP. The new album, Club Meds, that's coming out this month. Yes, uh, January the 13th here in North America. I heard that you worked a couple years on this album, and you mentioned that it's been a while mm -hmm. since you finished it. And Tell it, me a little bit about it, that. It was a long adventure. Uh, we had toured like just relentlessly for about six years, and uh, we kind of came to the end of our last record cycle of Fortune. And it just sort of became apparent, I think, on all fronts that some time was needed um, to just... It, all of the guys in the bands uh, have a bunch of other projects and stuff like that. So they needed to kind of focus on other things. Um, my wife was pregnant at the time, and I wanted to kind of be around for that. And um, So we took, like, 
uh, about two years away from touring. And after about one year of that time, we started working on this record. And uh, it's been done now since like April or May or something like that. And we've been anxiously sitting on it and basically sitting on our hands, uh, excited to share it and uh, kind of just waiting. There's a handful of reasons why we had to wait till now. But uh, now that it is now, feels now. Pre- feels pretty good. <laughs> it's, is that the longest amount of time that you've spent working on a record? Did that feel like a luxury? It was great. Um, personally, I, I'm a really slow worker. I'm a slow writer. Uh, I'm slow in the studio. I'm kind of like a, I, I'm constantly second guessing things. And then, so having a bit of time to kind of sit on something for a week, because I think when you get in the phase where you're just recording every single day, um, you lose a lot of perspective, or I lose a lot of perspective. I have to speak for myself. And uh, so uh, this way, we could work on it for a couple of weeks. We could take a week or two off, and then we could come back to it. And, um, you know, this time more than ever before, it was a real collaborative process in terms of how the songs were crafted and put together. And uh, the, the whole, even the name change, you know, we changed it to Dan Mangan and Blacksmith instead of just Dan Mangan. I think there's a real sort of group effort now. I feel like you said that as well on the last album. <laughs> yeah. And so even more so on this record, you guys have been playing together so long. You sound incredible. It's interesting. This is the first time I'm hearing the songs from this album live, and I was completely blown away just starting off with that first song. It's interesting. You're, I've, I've been a fan since the beginning, and your songs just get bigger and bigger you know obviously you evolve as an artist and mm-hmm. as you should and as most people do that continue to be successful but it you sound looser yet super tight which right. is interesting well i th- i mean i think i've i've sort of grown personally but a lot of it has to do with these guys i mean these these three guys in the room are sort of the core members and then we have a uh, jesse zubod and tyson naylor and Je- uh, jp carter who join us as well a bunch but um, you know, when it came to the crafting of these songs, I came at it with lyrics and melodies, and, and sometimes the songs were nearly there, but other tunes on this record, you know, I had, like, ideas. I didn't even, I haven't even finished the lyrics yet. Um, and so, you know, I've learned a lot from these guys musically over the years, because uh, they're, they're real musicians, <laughs> and uh, I'm sort of like a street-learned songwriter. So, uh, you know, I think it's been a, a good marriage or, or a relationship together, all of us, has sort of developed over the years. You said that, uh, you mentioned earlier that you toured nearly uh, nonstop for like six years, mm-hmm. and you often were touring six <coughs> or seven months out of the year. It was one year where I think we slept in our own beds like less than 50 times. It was, it was, it was silly. Like we were on the, on the road over nine months, and it was, it, was, um, it was hard. I mean, I think that was also a year where we d- had a lot of growth and a lot of amazing things happen. So it's hard when the momentum's going and you feel like you're constantly spinning plates. Um, you know, we're not very well known here in the States, but we've, we've had a really amazing run of things uh, at home in Canada. So um, when people are offering you things, it's, it's hard to say no. I mean, it's kind of what you've always wanted. So you feel like, I mean, Kenton's made jokes in the past about having sh- uh, horseshoes up my, up my rear. And uh, can, I, can I say ASS on the radio? No? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> horseshoes up my ass. And... Um, and so, I, you know, I, it always felt like if we stopped, even for a heartbeat, that it, like, all this m- momentum and all these horseshoes were going to fall out of, uh, out of the whole thing. And um, So by the time we did take a break, I think when we came back, it was like, all right, let's do this. Let's come back stronger. Let's come back bigger. And, uh, you know, the, I, can, I started with really kind of humble, folksy roots. And I, I still have a love for that music. And I, I don't turn my back on it in a sort of, you know, spiteful way or anything like that but i just feel more interested in um not i i i i, I never touches me that much when you, when you hear something contemporary that is a throwback to something that already happened because inherently there's a suggestion that it used to be better than it is and we're trying to recreate that and i I'm, i've always been more interested in what is happening now and what's happening next and you know that obviously we wear influences on our sleeves sure from things in the past but Hopefully we can kind of add our own voice to it. You absolutely put your own spin on it. It's fabulous. I love the new album. Thank you. And I'm excited to hear more live music. Dan mm-hmm. Mangan and Blacksmith live on KEXP. We need a una momento here. Many instruments at play here. <clears throat> Kenton, make noises on the drums so it sounds like we're setting up. Tonight the band is playing at the Roost in Bellingham, and it sounds like you've got a Canadian tour coming up in uh, 
February and March. You're not going to spend six, seven months on the road this year now that you've got a family at home, are you? Or at least in shorter spurts. We'll see what happens. All right. Disengage into the bubbles, hypnotizing. Some say below the dough we cross, the beast is rising. We like to talk about the past. We like to talk about the past. We talk about the past like it's the strangest dream. And we repeat the things we never dreamed we do. I understand that sometimes we almost dance with buggery, but everybody's pissing in the well of our suffering. Wanna breathe in all the ashes? Books say you tried to burn. I wanna keep the pages in my skin and understand the word. Castrate fiction. Call it circumstance. Say you're wandering today. It's a puppet show, a theater of opinions, a chorus of flat, theater of the past. You can hear the shaky timbre, the voice is most alone. Yeah, it's easier to sing within the crowd. Those who pretend to believe hardest that I truly begin to. The nature of the bliss, the warmth of ignorance gives into. Books say you tried to burn I wanna feel resilience on my tongue Love beyond concern Mass grave subtlety Leave it for the birds Say the world, it might be dangerous All it seems to do is turn Dan Mangan and Blacksmith live here in the KEXP studios. You got time for one more? We do, we do. Club Med's the new album coming out this month. Keep your eye out for it. It's awesome. And this, uh, this is, it's warm in here. Uh, this is a song called Vessel.
Great. It's Dan Mangan and Blacksmith live here in the KEXP studios. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you so much for having us. It's so great always to have you here. You've got to tune to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.